Amorosa? More like I'm a no sir. Hey, welcome back to the Hype Esquire show. So let me get this straight. You had no problem working with a racist bigot. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, and some, I assume, are good people. Child molester supporter. So get out and vote for Roy Moore. Do it, do it. And misogynist jerk. You know, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. You just kiss. I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the pussy. <laughs> but as soon as they tell you your services are no longer needed as the token blackface of the bigot administration, now you want to speak out. Okay, humor me. What have you got for us? to insult my intelligence. This is his pattern with African Americans. And um, he doesn't know how to control himself. He has no impulse control. And he doesn't have the tact for the presidency. You don't say, Sherlock, stupid. How about you tell us something we didn't know for at least a decade? You know, they said you should only get people one person, yourself. And she has undoubtedly taken heed to that age old adage because she is clearly trying to out stupid herself. Like when she says this with such conviction. He is truly a racist. As though we wouldn't remember her saying this with the proportionate amount of conviction. And I also think it's important that I know him personally. And he certainly is not a racist. He doesn't have issues with people of color. And I think it's important to note that he will not become the poster child for race in this country. Boy, is she done with in a box full of rocks. Nah, matter of fact, she is essentially the rock in the box. You know, like the pet rock. Because like the pet rock, her job was to sit there and do absolutely nothing. But be a black face, of course. She was Trump's pet rock. The only time they brought her out to play was when Trump had something racist to say. And they threw her out in front of cameras to justify it. And boy, was she complicit. Mm -hmm. And so now you want us to buy your new trash of a book, exposing Trump lies that we already knew, but you claimed was fake news to help push his agenda of lying to the people when it benefited you. Well, here's a thought. Fuck you. I wouldn't purchase your literary garbage if it came with a blowjob. What type of crack is you smoking? Or is it opioid? How dare you try to profit off of a divide in this country that you helped curate? You should be ashamed of yourself. If there's any advice that I could offer you, it would be at least two things. First, find the nearest flight of stairs. Second, and most important of all, fall down them. I'm just saying. You big cold-blooded dummy. Again, thanks for watching. Please do not forget to comment, like, subscribe, follow, all the above. Whatever you do, just do something and I'll be back sooner than you think, I'm sure of it.